Exclusive, Jameson Timber, Chibaya to wrestle CCC from Welshman NQ.AS Chimisa plots comeback. Nelson Chimisa's lieutenants led by Jameson Timber are this Friday expected to set in motion their Blue Movement Moments working plan whose first phase is wrestling the party from the Welshman Cube faction. The Blue Movement Moments working plan is a detailed road map of how Chimisa and his lieutenants intend to reclaim the party. It also sets out the leadership structure of the CCC during what it calls a crucial cleansing period that is expected to pave way for a Congress that will probably set the platform for the return of Chimisa. Under the new envisaged structure, which this publication had sight of, there is no place for Professor Nkube, Tendai Bita and Lynette Koreniakor in the new look CCC. The working plan has also been confirmed by well-placed sources in the Timber faction. Sources have confirmed that Timber comes back as the interim president with Amos Chibaya and Stable Mlilo as co-vice presidents. According to source the decision came amid escalating chaos within that party. Highlighting deep-seated fractures and power struggles that threaten its unity and future. A faction within the CCC, seeking a fresh direction and leadership, has resolved to appoint Timber as the new CCC president with Amos Chibaya and Stable Mlilo as deputy presidents. This move is a clear statement of the faction's intent not to capitulate to the demands and leadership style of the quadruple comprised of Welshman Cube. Tendai Bite, Lynette Koriniai Kore, and Senjizo Chibangu revealed the source. The source also revealed that the establishment of this new leadership structure by Timber's faction has raised eyebrows. Not only for its suddenness but also for the reported influence exerted by Chibaya in promoting individuals closely aligned with him to key positions within that party. Chibaya is pushing for his mistresses to occupy top posts within the party. Mlelo, appointed as one of the deputy presidents, is known to be Chibaya's mistress. Similarly, National Women's Task Force leader Monica Makwada, also rumored to be involved with Chibaya has been positioned favorably within this new structure. It's evident that the current configuration leans heavily towards those loyal to Chibaya and Timber, said the source. Political analyst Edith Mashaw commented that this development signals a significant shift within the CCC, as Timber, Chibaya, and their allies appear determined to forge ahead under the CCC banner. Eschewing any potential alignment with Chimisa's anticipated new political endeavor. There seems to be a strong resolve among some members to continue the struggle within the CCC framework. Maybe joining Chimisa's yet to be launched political party is not on their agenda, Masho said. Meanwhile, this latest episode in the CCC saga underscores the volatile nature of political alliances and the relentless quest for power and influence. The coming days are poised to be pivotal, as the new leadership structure's unveiling could either mark a new beginning for the CCC or deepen the rifts that threaten to bury it. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.